You know, this week, uh, Connie was, uh, was searching the internet, and, and she found a message to her from a student that she and Jean had while they were teaching about 45 years ago. And I just have to share this, this text uh, with you. It says, I owe so much to both of you. Connie, you challenged me to be creative and not be afraid to express myself. A real asset is I am now basically a full-time distinguished lecturer in my chosen field. Eugene, you instilled a love of math and physics that has gotten me technically where I am today. We stand on the shoulders of giants, and you too were some of mine. Man, what did, what did you guys think when you read that? I bet, I, bet you, I bet you thought to yourself, I had no clue. I mean, you knew that, that this student was successful. But to attribute their success and their life and their future to, to a few words that you passed on to them to encourage them. I, that's happened to me before. And, and I, I've always left with that feeling, I, I had no clue. I had no clue. And I thought to myself, if my words would have that kind of impact on people, I'd be saying that to about 10,000 more people. I'd be saying it all the time if it, could, if it could help people discover what, you know, what they were supposed to do. And, to, and to, if, if my words could encourage them to focus on things that, were, that God was calling their life forward to do. If I thought something I would say to someone would be held in their hearts for 45 years, remembered in 45 years, and then reflected back to me, I would, I would, I would, I would be saying that all the time to folks. Encouraging, lifting them up giving them that, that advice and insight of what they could do with their life, what I felt God was calling them to. Wouldn't you? 